Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a fried egg in Adobe Illustrator. First, we will create an ellipse that we will center. Then we will color it in orange and you will find the code in the lower right part. Next we will create a copy and we will reduce it a bit by pressing Ctrl plus Shift and left click. Over the copy we will apply a linear gradient of two points and we will change the angle to minus 90 degrees. The top point will remain white and the bottom one will be colored with the color whose code we will find in the lower right part. Then we will change the transparency to overlay and place the ellipse on top of the other one. We'll create two more white ellipses that we'll place on top to give a point of light appearance. It will also have transparency on overlay and opacity at 54%. Then we will create a shadow at the bottom. For this, we will create a copy of the ellipse below by holding down shift and control and dragging the mouse up. Then we will create another copy of the one below, we will select them both, we will go to Pathfinder and we will select Divide. Then we will select Ungroup, we will deselect the desired part and we will delete the rest by pressing the delete key. We will color it with a darker color whose code we will find in the lower right part and we will change its opacity to 20%. Next, we will create another ellipse that we will enlarge a little and place it below all the others. We will color it with a dark color and lower the opacity, then modify it according to the rest of the design. We will group everything and move to the right side. Now we are going to create the white of the fried egg. We will select the pencil tool, we will double click on it and we will select the fidelity close to smooth and we will create a shape that resembles a fried egg. We will make many curves to show the uneven distribution of the egg. We will color the new shape with a color that is close to the color of the white, but until the end we will modify it a little more, so have a little patience for the right color code. We will create a copy of it, and place it behind the other one and color it with a darker color than the one above. Then at the bottom we will create a light. To do this we will proceed similarly to the way we created the shadow on the yoke. Then, with the eyedropper tool we will press on the light above the yoke. We will take the yoke and place it above the white, 
center it and reduce it according to desire and then change the opacity of the ellipse below the yoke to 10%. I made some changes regarding the color of the white and the code of the resulting color is on the lower right. Then with the pencil tool we will create spots of light on the surface of the white and we will color them using the eyedropper tool. We will adopt the color of the other light to white and then change their opacity to 70%. Next, we will create a background that we will color with a shade of blue. We will group the whole egg, and then we will create a copy of it and go to Pathfinder and select Unite. We will enlarge the new shape a little and we will color it black and the opacity will be at 70%. Then we will send it behind the egg, acting as a shadow. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you liked it. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. In this way I will know that you appreciate my work and I will continue to make interesting tutorials for you.